Hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einem weiteren Let's Play Part oder so. <lacht> ich bin natürlich wieder bei Avenger und wir sind bei The Walking Dead, a new frontier unterwegs. Und wir machen einfach mal weiter. Ja, es kam ein kleiner Rückblick von Clementine und das sehen wir jetzt. This stinks. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have housed to ourselves. Sounds nice, right? Now we just need some disinfectant. Get that smell out of there once and for all. I don't know. It could get a bit lonely. Mm -hmm. Carver got what was coming, but... Just look at him. It takes a fucking monster to do that. Kenny and Carver deserved each other. Both crazy pieces of shit. No good to anyone. The world is better without them. They destroyed each other. I never knew Kenny again after that. That's why he had to go. Let's get out of here. Never want to look at that sick fuck's body again. Here, take a load off. I've got the little goofball. Hope he hasn't eaten too recently. He hasn't. Good. The last thing I need is to be covered in puke again. Don't puke on me, kid. You hear me? Remember what I taught you. Sweep and stand. Oh. oh shit. Come Clem. Hoch mit dir. Come on. Läuft. Puh, das war ja jetzt noch mal gut gegangen, ne? Come on, we can get out this way. You know, I was pretty worried about you back there. But I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled, like usual. I didn't mean to worry you. It's okay, you're safe. That's what matters. Ja, ich suche immer die erste Schuld bei mir. <lacht> you guys don't even need me. They just get in the way. You're more Ach, than capable on your own. You proved that back there. Your family. We're all family. Rebecca would feel the same way. Thanks. Hm? Um, Go on, take him. He wants his other mom. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Das hat's von Lee. Da sieht man immer mal so ein bisschen <lacht> die Erziehung meiner die Erziehung. Also vom ersten Teil. Für die, die sie wissen, zum ersten Teil schalten. Jetzt. 13 Monate später. Ja. Dass der Carver noch so gut aussah dafür, dass sie schon so groß war, ne? Also da müssten ja ein paar Jahre vergangen sein. Da war 
war die Klemm noch nicht so groß. Aber naja, es ist halt so. Hm. Das war der erste Unterschlupf. Das war jetzt, glaube ich, nachdem wir den Kleinen verloren hatten. Whoa there, Clem. Ah, that is just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be. Which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but... Here. Man wenigstens hilft sie, ne? Das ist schon mal ein bisschen was. Energy bar. Ist irgendwie was Bestimmtes? Ach so, das Bild wahrscheinlich. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. Ich weiß, was das ist. Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here and right now... You're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. <laughs> for me. Staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem.
man, man hatte jetzt so viele Möglichkeiten, das einfach abzuschlagen. Das ist was So, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. <laughs> you coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier, thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. That's not fair. David can be a good father. Maybe to his own kids. That doesn't mean I trust him with AJ. You should. Hmm. David Garcia is a good man. Yeah, I'm sure he'd agree with you. Sorry if I don't. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about then. You... You want to know where the boy is? Yeah. Nice. Ja, dröhn dich noch mal zu. What do you want? I, I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. I'm sorry, Clem, we can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <sighs> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ, just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. Oh, no. No! Plus, weil ich nicht töten Bobby. wollte? Ernsthaft? you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. 
Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors, you better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Oh boy, das ist nicht deine Liga, Alter. <lacht> Hätte ich jetzt mal gesagt. Ja, also. Puh, es ist schon. Hm. Ich kann nicht einfach Menschen umbringen, nur um die Informationen zu kriegen. Ich meine, gut, dass es jetzt trotzdem gemacht hat, okay, das ist aber dann nicht meine Schuld. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Ich kann wohl nicht so gut mit Jungs. Hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. The guy's clearly an addict. He was destroyed when we got there. It would be sad if it wasn't so reckless. It's pathetic is what it is. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We have to help my dad. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean... Sure, but this is different. We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great, so how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated. From us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. The best way to get rid of Joan is to get David back on top. If he's in charge again, things will go back to the way they used to be. No arguments here. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are going to be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. Oh, I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor. Can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? 
It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. It's not a bad place to start. And it's good you want to help. We've got to talk it through before we settle on anything. Just as long as I get to come along. Not that I don't appreciate the can-do attitude, but I don't know if you're invited, little man. I think I agree with Trip. Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. First the shit at the armory, now this? How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. But you thought killing him would be easier. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. You let me think the walkers had killed him. He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? <laughs> I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Or well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We could take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer, you'll probably kill us too. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... just fucked. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. Cool, Gabe. Hast du klasse gemacht? Oh, man, ey. So manchmal drehen Kinder halt echt durch, ne? Das ist halt... Ah, fuck. Shit! Shit, shit, shit. Weißt du, ich versuche noch zu decken und dann sowas. Ey, das ist echt der Knaller. Aber es ist halt so. Das lernt man halt erst, wenn man größer ist. Man, äh, man möchte Kinder was nicht machen lassen, bloß weil man es denen nicht zutraut. Das stimmt ja nicht. Sondern einfach nur, weil man sich Sorgen macht. Und das hat er einfach nicht kapiert. Ja, aber, naja, das muss er wissen. Kriegen wir schon auf jeden Fall hin. Komm, Ein Thema. You come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. Und bevor wir das machen, verabschiede ich mich von euch. Ich bedanke mich recht herzlich fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, ihr seid auf jeden Fall beim nächsten Part wieder dabei. Wenn es wieder heißt The Walking Dead Season 3, A New Frontier. Ich bin euer Avenger. See you next time. Haut da rein. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Servus.